What is up, everybody? Uh, ChatGPT is starting to make me a little concerned as a programmer because uh, ChatGPT seems to do an absolutely amazing job of interpreting APIs. So if you can create a super robust API for your, uh, for your, your language or, or whatever program you're doing, you're creating, uh, it can really interpret these results well. So this is something I spent quite a while trying to figure out, just because you have to scan this, this question. The question is, how do I get a latitude and longitude value from an address in, apps, in Google Apps Script? I had a client come to me and they, they told me they had a spreadsheet and I was like, I didn't know how to do it. But the thing is, man, is that now this chat GPT is going to become the first place I look now to solve a problem. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you the response it gives me. How do I get a latitude and longitude from an address in Google Apps Script? You can use the maps.new geocoder method in Google Apps Script to get the latitude and longitude values from a given address. And it's, and, and, and look at this. This is, is kind of a, I don't want to say ambiguous, but this is the simplest response I think you could get. You know, you have the variable, you have the geocoder that you're creating, you pass the address into the uh, into the geocoder, and it gives you the latitude and the longitude. But what if I said to it, um, you know, how do I uh, take a, uh, a Google Sheet cell and input it into a variable, right? So so that's like the second part of the question. If I was going to write, write this, you know, this project out on paper, uh, you know, that, that'd be another part of it. And I would, I'd have to link these up together. So let me, let me ask it now that this is finished. I'm going to say, how do I turn a Google Sheet cell input into a, a variable in app script? That's kind of just the, the, play, the plain text. You can use this spreadsheet app class in Google Apps Script. Okay. And then you get the variable, right? So look. So now I can link this up. I can say var cell value equals sheet dot get range. And, uh, and then now that cell value, I can just pass it into the address. And then we can output, uh, okay, and it has all these values. Yeah, it's quite robust. Um, this thing will teach you like somebody sitting next to you. So hit the subscribe button, please. Uh, I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. If you see me under, if you see me under a thousand subs, just hit that sub button. Um, and then, you know, once I'm over a thousand subs, feel free to go ahead and, and unsubscribe. I'm just trying to uh, crank this channel up to a thousand as soon as possible. So thank you. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more exploration of chat GPT.